Well, today we've decided we're going to go check out some of the lake levels at the reservoirs. So we're going to start with Lake Huia and then move on up to Pine Flat Lake. <music> Found. This is amazing. So first of all, we're here in this beautiful uh, farmland here in the Central Valley. But look at this field of flowers, just beautiful flowers. And you can hear the bees. You probably can on the camera, but there's this like hum of the bees. I saw a rabbit in there too with the ears. You see her? It's amazing. It's so big. This it's like I'd say a half mile long this way, and then it just goes deep that way. Like I don't know how far. It's amazing. Look at these flowers, they're so beautiful. Lots of bees, do you see the bees? I'm actually one who's afraid of bees. I don't like bees because they're so mobile, but I'm tolerating this because I'm not actually standing in it quite yet. Look at Brenda, is that cute? I want to show you this. This is amazing. This is a Richfield gas station. So these used to be all over the place, all over Los Angeles and the California and probably probably all over the, at least the West and Southwest. But Richfield, now remember, Arco is Atlantic Richfield Company. So Atlantic and Richfield joined or something. So they made Arco. But 
This is the rich field. So they used to be all over the place. They all kind of look like that, those little small gas stations. And if you look at old videos on YouTube of um, LA, for instance, uh, like for the 1940s, you'll see lots of uh, rich field stations all over the place. We're now at Lake Cahuilla, which is in the foothills of the Sierra. This is a uh, reservoir that you would normally go around when you're on your way up to like three rivers up there and such. And usually that road over there, which is probably hard to see for you, but it's really not that far away from the water normally. But the water is so low now that I'd be standing under like honestly 100 feet of water because you can even see the shorelines up here. And um, I've seen, you know, most of the time I've ever come through here, you can see, it's probably hard to see on the video, but you can see the shorelines on the other side there. Um, that's, that's at least 100 feet. And uh, when I've come through here, a lot I've come through, went three rivers in Sequoia, you pass this, it's like the water's not that far down from you. And I'd always think, wow, it's kind of a big scary reservoir because it's just so big. But right now it looks kind of really small, just a little water down there. Can you believe that? In the winter it would be dark. But here I am just floating around. Look how pretty it is right now. We're in Lake Kuiya. Brenda's just floating around. Getting a little golden color of the day. And I'm right here, watch. See if I can get in frame here. Hello. Really, the lake has come up quite a bit from where we were here last time in, I think, September 2022. We had to drive way down there, which you'll see on my other video. Way, way down there. But now it's come up quite a bit. It still has a lot to go, but with the runoff from the snow, there's a little, you can't really see it. There's a, there's a little bit of mountain you can see up there, but there's going to be a lot of runoff this summer. So I think it'll probably fill up even pretty much higher.
I scrolled down the Insta page, saw a picture that I didn't want to see. He had his hand around your waist and a smile on your face, like the way you look at me. It was only eight months ago he was holding your hand, slow dancing and kissing the top of your head. And I don't know how to compete with that, 'cause you were friends, you were kids, and it still feels like we just only met. Yeah, I was so naive, thinking that you've only felt this way for me. You always tell me I'm the only one you wanna be with, so why can't I believe it? Yeah, old boyfriends kinda scare me, 'cause they all got a little bit of history. To tell me, I got no real reason to worry. My mind starts to imagine things that never happened. I start to believe that you're still in love with some other husband. Baby, I'm just asking, do you think I'm gonna be the last one? I've heard stories about exes calling up brides on their wedding day, professing all the love from a once upon a time that they threw away. And the fear that I'm fighting is constantly rising in the back of my mind. Is that you'll finally open up your eyes, that you'll leave me for another guy? Yeah, it's a scary truth that maybe I don't know you in the way they do. You always tell me I'm the only one you wanna be with, so why can't I believe it? Yeah, old boyfriends kinda scare me, 'cause they all got a little bit of history with you. Even when you try to tell me that I got no real reason to worry, my mind starts to imagine things that never happened. I start to believe that you're still in love with some other has been. Baby, I'm just asking, do you think I'm gonna be the last one? Fighting back this anxious heart, but I've come to realize that if we don't have trust, then we might as well have nothing. But old boyfriends still scare me. They all got a little bit of history with you. Even when you try to tell me, I got no real reason to worry. My mind keeps on imagining things I know aren't happening. I start to believe that you're still in love. Some other has been. Baby, I'm just asking. Do you think I'm gonna be the last one? Last one. Do you think I'm gonna be the last one?
are. We're now at Pine Flat Lake. Look, there's a fishing boat coming in over there. And last time we were here, see where that berm in that tree is down there? We were like below it. That's how low the water was. We had to like drive around that area of dirt and then onto another like cement ramp that's all under there that you don't see it now. This is Fred, I'm at Pine Flat Lake. The water level is down pretty much here, but you can still see there's some people down at the water. Then there's uh, docks over there. So it's come up and then he said that just like a week ago or so it was where, where the green and the, the brown separated to where the water was and they've been letting water out because there's gonna be so much snow melt in the next couple of months. So where all that debris is, like the sticks and all that, that's where the water was. Just a little, like I'd say about, it's like about 10 feet above where we're standing right now. But it's really pretty, wow. The trees, see the trees up there? Really beautiful. Me say meow meow. If you like what you saw, please give the subscribe button a pop and check out another video here.